What is up Aureate Warriors and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to take you through a follow along stretching routine specifically for golfers, something close to my heart, and hopefully help you improve your flexibility to therefore improve your golf game. As always the offline free PDF is available in the link in the description down below. Other than that, let's jump into this routine. Right, let's kick this routine off. We're just gonna start with a little bit of breathing and some spinal mobilization because golf is all about that rotation and getting a little bit more mobility in the spine is an important factor. So I'm gonna perform this one on my knees, but equally you can perform this one sat on a sofa, on a chair. However, you can even do it standing, however it's comfortable. This is just for ease of use. So we're gonna have hands on head. We're gonna breathe in, extend through the spine, Think about pulling the shoulder blades back together using this mid back. Then we're gonna breathe out and we go down into a fetal position. We need five of these just in time with your breath. Nice deep breathing, trying to really expand the rib cage. So you'll take a deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, you're gonna come all the way down. There's five of these. As you inhale, really try to open the chest, expand the rib cage. Last one here. All right, and we're gonna come forward now. We're just gonna do a couple more drills just to like loosen things up, really. So we're gonna do a downward facing dog position, which we're just gonna come into the best one we can. It doesn't need to be perfect. And we're just gonna do a couple of walks. You can bend the knees if you want to. Just loosening up overhead. I'm gonna shift forward into this upward dog position. And again, just move from side to side. So first of all, we're gonna take a look at some passive rotation of the spine. So we're gonna do what is called a thread the needle. So we're gonna come back into a kneeling position. We're gonna raise one hand overhead. So we're gonna start with the right hand. So we're gonna have left hand overhead. I'm gonna create a nice active base of support here so I can hold myself in this position. And I'm just gonna reach my hand through as far as I can, trying to get my shoulder down towards the ground. I'll pause for a second and then come back up. So I'm just gonna do five of these, really trying to reach this hand as far as you can away from the body and then come back. on four, so sink the shoulder down, keep this top hand nice and strong, nice and straight, and really try to just reach away, twist the shoulders. The last one, number five, we're just gonna pause for 10 seconds as we get to that bottom position. Let's breathe for a second. Should feel a bit of a stretch going sort of back of the shoulder of this right arm and round the back as well. All right, we're now gonna swap sides. So if you guys can just swap over. I can't because there's a wall there. I'll show you from the other angle. So right hand overhead this time. Take that left arm, we're just gonna reach as far as we can through. And then come back up. It helps if you kind of breathe out as you go for this reach. You might get some cracking in the hips and the the back as well. So remember, we're gonna do five reps. You may also notice that one side is gonna be tighter than the other. Very normal in the case of, you know, a sport like golf where we're gonna do one direction for pretty much all of our work. So we're gonna build up those left to right imbalances. So we're just gonna hold this for 10 seconds. couple of nice breaths 
and then we're going to come back up. Yeah, stay in that kneeling position. And then we're just going to bring our right leg forward. So we're into basically a lunge position. And then from here, we're just going to drop our left hand side, our left hip towards the ground. We're going to twist into that right leg. So we're going to get a nice stretch over the hip flexor, but we're also going to be twisting into this one. So the stretch is going to come a little bit up the side of the body as well. I'm just going to hold this position for about 20 seconds or so. You can let the front leg, the knee, just drop out to the right hand side, twisting a bit. And the main focus is trying to get this hip down towards the ground. Another sort of five seconds here. So one more breath. And we're just gonna swap sides. So we're gonna bring this right leg back, left leg up. Right hand down, let the knee drop out and let that right hip drop down towards the ground. So you may notice that I've got random bits of like black over me and I promise that it's that I'm not dirty. It's just that I've been grouting a bathroom. So it is covered <laughs> everywhere. Right, another 10 seconds. Okay, so that's a little bit of a warm up for the spine, but actually what we're gonna focus on today is we're gonna take a look at the hips. So we're gonna come to the middle now. I'm gonna just come into a seated position we're going to do an old channel favorite, which is a hip swivel. So supported with the hands, we're going to drop our legs to the right hand side. So we have external rotation and internal rotation, and then swap sides. The idea here is to try and keep the chest facing forward and let the hips do the work, which is kind of the point of today's video. A lot of golfers have poor mobility in their hips, and then therefore their spine does a lot of the work that the hips do. If we have poor mobility of the hips, we're also bad at generating force in the hips, which means our golf swing is going to be as powerful, it's not going to be as quick. So today we're going to take a look at loosening up the hips, as well as a little bit of spinal mobility. So we're just going to do 10 of these in total. Just going to keep swatching, swapping back and forth. Got another three to do. So we're gonna now swap, we're gonna stay on this right hand side and we're gonna come into a 90-90 position. So front leg goes directly out in front of the body, knee bent to 90 degrees, back leg comes out at 90 degrees, knee bent to 90 degrees. If this is a challenging position for you to sit in, we're just gonna raise that hip to a point in which we can sit and the torso remains nice and upright and straight. We don't wanna be leaning too much over to the side here. So make sure you get yourself set up nice and comfortably. We're going to just lean forward into this front leg, create a glute stretch on this leg. We're going to do a couple of reps of PNF. So we're going to try and press this knee into the ground actively. So we're going to feel the glute working. Press it into the ground. Hold for five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. And then we're going to sink deeper into that stretch. We're going to do the same thing. So we're going to press down into the ground. Two, three, four, Five, sink a little bit deeper. And we do one last one. Press down, five, four, three, two, one. And sink that a little bit more. We're just gonna hold this position for 10 seconds here. We're just gonna come up and we're actually gonna stay in this position. I'm gonna work a little bit more on this back leg. So this back leg is in internal rotation at the moment. We need to improve internal rotation for that ability to twist through the ball. So we're gonna try and do some active work in this position. So staying here, we're gonna try and think about trying to lift up that back leg. Now, you may get some cramps in the hips, very, very likely, all good, just keep working it. If it is a little bit hard for you, if it's not gonna lift up, that is fine, you just need to elevate these hips. So same as we did beforehand, put something underneath the hips. If you still can't lift it, but you can feel like you're working to lift it, that is just as good as lifting it. We wanna think about using that glute, using the tip fail to internally rotate. So we're gonna try and lift hard as we can for five seconds, hold, and we're gonna do those for three reps. So 
nice and straight on with the chest. Lean a little bit further forward. Lift the leg. Two, three, four, five, as high as you can. And relax. Maybe do three of these. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do one last one. One, two, three, four, five. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna try and twist ourselves. So we're gonna face our torso or our chest to sternum as much as we can over this back leg. So we're gonna try and twist into it, but keep the knee down on the floor. Just gonna hold this position for about 15 seconds. And then we're gonna swap sides and repeat the whole thing over again. All right, so we're gonna hip swivel, face ourselves around, left foot forward this time into that same 90-90 position. So back leg at 90, front leg straight, knee length 90. And come forward, chest up. But then get a roll forward. So we're gonna find a point of stretch. Same thing, press the knee down into the ground. We're gonna hold for five seconds. So press, five, four, three, two, one. And breathe out, try to sink a bit deeper. Do one more, or two more even. So press into the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Sink a little deeper. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. And I'm gonna hold this position as we did beforehand for 10 seconds. If any of you are wondering, I do actually play golf myself. It's something that I've played for on and off since I was a kid. Um, but it's one of my favorite sports, definitely. Such a, can't beat just getting outside. Right, we're gonna come up and we're gonna do that back leg. So we're gonna do this internal rotation lift. So make sure you've got that set up underneath your hips, whatever you had last time. But again, you might find that left to right, we're gonna have some differences. One might be better than the other. Uh, if you do want to, you can do an extra set, pause the video, do an extra set of what we just did on the tighter side, but it's not essential. So chest up, facing forward, you're gonna do those lifts, three reps, five seconds, as high as you can, what, two, three, four, five, and lower. Cramp is good. <laughs> Another one, one, two, three, four, five. And then last one. One, two, three, four, five. And again, we're just gonna bring our torso around. We're gonna try and twist into that leg, trying to get the sternum facing the knee, making sure that we keep that knee down. Just gonna hold this for 15 seconds. So that's the first round. We're gonna do two rounds of this in total. We're gonna to break it up in between with a little bit of an active use of that flexibility. So for this one, we're gonna come into a squat position. Now this position, if you can't squat comfortably on the ground, this might be quite hard for you. So you can do this either like sat on a chair or sat on a sofa. The movement itself will still work exactly the same. So we're gonna start with the left hand side, which means that we're gonna lift the right arm up. Sounds counterintuitive. We're gonna challenge that internal rotation position on the hip actively with also some spinal rotation. So we're gonna do a squat rotation. First movement, gonna grab left arm to right ankle, and we're gonna lift the right arm all the way up. Get as far as you can round, hold for a couple of seconds, come back down. Just gonna do five of these per side. We're gonna hold the last one for 10 seconds. So again, if you can't do this in a squat, do it sat on a chair instead, sort of hand place on the knee. It works exactly the same. So five reps. Really try to pull that elbow all the way around the body. You're trying to get that elbow as far as you can the other side.
three, football, and then last one. We're gonna hold for 10 seconds. Feel like you can use the muscles kind of in the middle of your back to help pull around as well. All right, and we're gonna come back to center. You can have a little break if you want to, shake off your squat. Maybe the other side. So right arm, left ankle. I'm gonna try and rotate that left arm round, drive the other way around, and then come back. So remember five reps and a pause in that last rep. Last one here. Just gonna keep holding. Ten seconds. And you can shake it off. We can come back to a couple of those hip swivels. And as I said, we're gonna do that last round just one more time before moving on. So give you another ten seconds or so. While we're taking a short break, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, join the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe, hit that subscribe button. Don't miss out any more follow alongs. So let's start again. Get yourself back into that 90 90 position. We're going to have right leg forward this time, left leg out to the side. So we're going to be working the right leg. Get the thing underneath your hip if you need that underneath your hip. We're not going to do a stretch on the glute at the moment. We're just going to do one sort of lean forward for about five seconds just to kind of feel like we're going to twist, get that torso nice and centre over the body. And then we're going to go straight into those three reps of those lifts for five seconds. So we're going to lift one, two, three, four, five, and relax. Now what you're looking for is that you can do a little bit better than you did last time. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. And now it's gonna do one more. One, two, three, four, five. And again, I'm gonna twist round into that back leg. There is definitely a few other things that I can mention about golf conditioning, um, and I'd be happy to make videos on them. So if you do want to see some more videos on golf related stuff, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll, I'll put some videos into the pipeline. So another five seconds here. And then we're just gonna swap sides. So do the hip swivel back to a 90-90, left leg facing forward. And come into that glute stretch just for about five seconds here. come up and do the same thing again. So we're just going to try and lift that leg five seconds. Two, three, four, and five. And go again. One, two, three, four, five. And one last one. One, two, three, four, five. Again, I'm gonna turn into that leg. Just gonna sit here for about 20 seconds or so. Really try to get that sternum facing over this knee. And then we're gonna go into those squat rotations. So get into your squat or sit on your chair or sofa, whatever it was that you were working on. If you were working on it at progression beforehand, maybe try to do the actual thing and see if it's improved a little bit in that one set. 
So we're going to start with right hand side first. So left arm onto right ankle, right knee, right arm drive all the way around. And come back five reps. Hold for a couple of seconds in that top position. And on this last one, we're going to hold for 10 seconds. Holding. Shake it off in between. And on the other side. It's four, so I come up to the last one now. Really driving that left elbow all the way around. Try to use that mid back hold for 10 seconds. Get it all as far around as you can. And back to center. Right, so that's the, that's the main bit of the hips. We're also then just gonna work now a little bit of hamstrings, a little bit of hip flexors, just for good luck. And then also because they can limit hip flexibility as well. So. You're gonna need probably a couple of objects here. Something like a yoga block. You can use, again, the edge of a, the edge of a, a sofa or something. We're just gonna do some kneeling lunge extensions. So we're gonna work on basically pushing the hips back here into a hamstring stretch. So the reason I recommend having blocks is that the further down you are, the more intense this is. So if you're up here because your hamstring flexibility is limited, that's absolutely fine. You're working with what you got, but you might need something just to support yourself. So I'll give you a second just to find that. As I said, a chair, yoga blocks, edge of a sofa, anything really works. We're going to start with a lunge and we're going to think about trying to have this contact between our thigh and our stomach. And we want to try and think about maintaining that contact as we push the hips back. So we're going to do five reps and then we're gonna do a 10 second hold. So we're gonna push the hips back, starting with the left leg this is by the way. Keep that stomach tight, try to pin yourself down, squeeze the quad, and go back. So we're gonna pause for two or three seconds as we shift back. So we've got two more here. And last one, we're just gonna hold for 10 seconds. Now during this 10 seconds, I want you to try and feel like you can start walking these hands as far as you can away from your foot. Keep holding, brace the suck. Now I come back into that lunge position. So I'm going to start with the same sort of drill here now with the lunge. So we've got left foot forward, right leg in a lunge. I'm going to squeeze this glute on this back leg, and then we're going to try to try and push the knee forward. If you want to make this more intense, we're just going to raise arms above your head. So we're going to try and push down into a lunge, feel the stretch over the spine, squeeze that glute, and then come back up. So if we're number four, again, we're gonna do five of these. Nice few second pause at the bottom. I'm gonna hold the last one for 10 seconds. Two. Have a 10 second hold here. Try to lean back into this if you can do. Keep that chest nice and tall, arching through the back. Two and one. So, all right, so we're gonna switch sides now. We're gonna have right leg forward. We're gonna start with that hamstring drill. So get your set up however you had beforehand. 
Same thing here, keep the chest nice and upright. Try to think about keeping that connection between the thigh and the stomach. We're gonna push the hips back, sink nice and down into it. So remember five of these. Really think about trying to pull the hip back. As you're shifting back, keep that thigh close, quad squeezed. And the last one. So round number five. And we're gonna try and walk those fingers forward. As far as you can. Keep holding. One, come back up into that lunge position. So come up into a, a nice lunge. Again, arms above head if you want to. We don't have to have arms above head though. I'm gonna squeeze that glute. Think about the glute pushing us down into the stretch. Hold for a few seconds and then come back up. So remember five of these again. Four, so one more. So last one here. Hold for 10 seconds. And that is basically the routine. As always guys, a nice and simple hip focus routine to help those working on their golf game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what you can do, you can hit that thumbs up button and support the channel. Right next to it is that subscribe button as well if you wanna join the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe. Don't forget you can grab the full workout, the PDF offline version in the description down below. But that has basically been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and peace.